Hi guys, it's Anthony Molinari from O'Brien Real Estate with the fourth edition of the Property News for 2023, where the real estate information, as always, is on the house. It's been a case of 10 and 10. 10 months of falls in home prices has ended, and so too has the 10 consecutive interest rate rises, with the Reserve Bank deciding to place a hold on increasing rates for the month of April. Now, as reported by CoreLogic, Melbourne home prices increased 0.6% in March and auction clearance rates increased to 77% last weekend with a substantial 1,188 auctions scheduled. Now, is this the end of the trough in the market? Are we at the bottom and about to have a steady rise from here on in? Regardless of whether we are or not, buying and selling real estate makes sense depending on your situation rather than depending on where the market is. Now, this is particularly so when you are changing places, meaning you are buying and selling in the same market cycle. The Australian newspaper reported that population forecast is to boom at 650,000 over a two year period with two thirds of the population moving to Melbourne and Sydney. Melbourne is needing to build 100,000 new homes in the next 12 months to accommodate this growth, which is great for our local economy. Westpac Chief Economist Bill Evans has wound back his rate rise prediction to peak at 3.85%, which means we'll have only one more increase on his prediction. And inflation figures released for February shows the inflation rate has beaten expectations coming in lower than thought by market experts at 6.8% and down from the 8.4% in December. Melbourne Metro declines in the Home Value Index over March grew by 0.6%. However, Sydney prices for March lead the national with a 1.4% increase. Regional Victoria had the slightest of declines easing 0.1% year to date. Regional Victoria is 1.3% down. However, the COVID peak was 35%, so this market is still in great place. Looking at the rental market, gross yields in units across Melbourne and regional Victoria are continuing to grow for property investors, with Metro Melbourne at a yield of 4.4% and regional at 4.5%. Growth in rental prices in Melbourne has been 14.6% over the last 12 months, and the inner city market is up 30% in their rental prices. Now, with the population boom expected to continue, this trend is likely to increase. Now, property of the month this month is 61 Milne Street, Templestowe. Parkland positions don't come any finer than this. Alongside Westerfolds Park, just metres to the Arrow River Parklands, this refreshed family home surrounds you in nature's playground. It's a lovely homely feel inside with calm neutrals and gorgeous natural light, inviting instant relaxation. Two living spaces flow around the central kitchen, offering the family plenty of everyday living space at the heart of the single level floor plan. Elegant enhancements include updated bathrooms, an open shower in the ensuite, freestanding bath, plus a second shower in the family bathroom. Contemporary roller blind split system cooling plus central heating add to the creature comforts. A generous five bedroom floor plan and proximity to parkland should also excite investors. Currently tenanted, the 715 square metre site poses exceptional investment opportunity with potential to develop down the track. Close to Templestoke Village and restaurants, the 905 bus from the Pines to the city, the renowned Austin Hospital and an impressive array of private schools, including Ivanhoe Grammar, Marcelin College in Kerry. Scheduled for auction on the 29th of April at 1pm and it's one to keep your eye out on. Now that's all for this month, I'm Anthony Molinaro. And remember the information provided is of a general nature. You should always seek independent legal, financial, taxation or other advice in relation to your unique circumstances. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this month's market wrap. And until next month, it's bye for now.